Salam my sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a very delicious, very special recipe and this is a yummy kari pakora recipe but not any kari pakora recipe. This is a one of a kind that's so delicious. It's the kind you serve on da in davits and parties and get togethers and special occasions. It's so delicious. It's such a crowd pleaser and I know that your guests and your friends and family will love this if you guys try this recipe and you guys always request it so much even though I've shared on my channel before I thought I have to share it um, like you know on a special occasion and um, in my David serving dish and stuff so you guys can kind of get a idea and maybe make it throughout Ramadan or you know after Ramadan inshallah so this requires simple ingredients it's so delicious so yummy and just like just so good and um like i said requires simple ingredients and i pray you guys will enjoy please do subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and let's get started first you want to get all your ingredients together over here i'm just peeling my potatoes getting everything together the first thing we're going to start off with is the buttermilk so i kind of do this the very easy way that my mom taught me so what we do is we get a pot we add our buttermilk this is the one i'm using the aldi brand and what you do is you add um, besan to it so we're going to go ahead and add the besan flour and we're going to add some salt and we're going to mix mix it together with like a ladle a spoon a whisk whatever you guys want to kind of mix it with and we're going to put this on the fire to slowly start cooking once you put it on the fire, you have to watch it carefully because it'll start to curdle up. So you want to mix it often, like every minute or two to make sure that it's mixed up really nice. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting the stuff uh, for the um, pakoras. So we have our potatoes, we have our onions, tomato, green chili pepper, cilantro, and... And we're going to start cutting everything up, but you want to go back to your buttermilk and you want to make sure that it is not, um, you know, spilling or curdling up. It'll start to look like this. Make sure the fire is on medium flame. You don't want it to spill over, but it'll start bubbling up. And in the meantime, go ahead and cut all your veggies for the pakoras, your potatoes, your onions, tomatoes, everything. Add it to a large bowl. After we cut everything up and we add it to a bowl, then we're going to go ahead and start adding in our flour. We're going to add besan in this as well. And like I said, again, you want to check back with the buttermilk or the curry to see what's going on. Once it starts bubbling up, I like to put a ladle or like, you know, some wooden spoon or something on top. And that helps it from overspilling. So you want to keep this on medium to low flame and you want it to keep cooking. You want the flour and the buttermilk to cook together with that salt. Then afterwards, afterwards we'll do the tarka. But here's the ingredients we're adding to the pakoras. We have some turmeric. We have some red chili powder. We have salt a little bit of black pepper we have some coriander seeds and some cumin that i blended in a blender um, in my grinder and then we have our besan flour that's the only flour i use we're going to mix everything up together with our hands and add a little bit of water and then we're going to heat up our oil um, and we want to fry this first. After that, we'll do the tarka to the kari pakoras. You do not want to make a mixture for pakoras and leave it in the fridge, especially not for me or how I think. Otherwise, it starts to leave the water and gets too thin and stuff. So I don't do that. Um, while you have the oil on the side to start heating up for the pakoras, you want to add a little bit of turmeric to your um, to your curry that's cooking because the turmeric gives that a little flavor. And then we'll add more into the tarka that we are going to add to this after it cooks up. So now, like I said, heat up some oil. You want to use fresh, clean, nice oil. Our curry is cooking on the side as you guys can see it will uh, decrease in size just about an inch or inch and a half from the pot of how much you've put it because it will constantly be cooking and that's exactly what we want to happen so now that the oil is hot we want to test it and then we want to go ahead and drop in the pakoras one by one we, i usually use a spoon like this and then after the pakoras are done, what we do is we add that to our serving platter or our dish. And then we do the tarka to the curry. And then we're going to pour the curry all over the yummy pakoras. So that's how my curry pakoras are made, guys. 
um, if you guys are enjoying the video, please give the video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think down below and share the video with your friends and family. And, and please, friends, do let me know if this is helpful or if you guys want me to explain in any other way or if you guys are, you know, enjoying this video. So like I said, put in the pakoras and don't touch the pakoras for a minute or two. Make sure it starts to, you know, change color. Then you guys can start to move it slowly or you guys can start to, you know, uh, stirring them or mixing them around. Sometimes if you put in something into the oil and you just put it in and you start you know, turning it around and stuff like that, it'll break or it'll crack or, you know, something like that. So that's something constantly that I teach my sisters or like, you know, somebody newlywed or that's learning how to cook and stuff like that. Once you put something in the oil, chicken fry, poppers, pakoras, things like that, you don't want to touch them right away. You want to let them change a little bit of color. And once you see, then you want to turn them around. But anyways, the crispy, crunchy, yummy pakoras are done. You want to make sure you get all the oil out of them like this or maybe using something else better that you guys might have to take them out. And you guys... Um, want to put them into your serving dish you don't want to um, add them to paper towel or anything like that you want to leave the oil in the serving dish if it gets any drops in there because the curry will suck all that up anyways so now here goes the second batch and on the meantime my fire to my curry is very very on low flame so it's thickening up and just you know almost ready so now right after this we'll start preparing the tarka so remember how I said that it should decrease in size? This is exactly how you want the curry pakora. And of course, you want it to be nice and thick. You don't want it too runny. You don't want it too thick, but that should be a perfect consistency. Now, here are the ingredients that I'm going to add. I have lots of ginger, garlic, and chili peppers. I have some onions. I have some green chili for garnish, and I have a little bit of tomatoes. I had some cherry tomatoes. I cut those up. It's optional. You guys don't have to add the tomatoes. I know a lot of people that don't, but that's just the way that, you know, I was taught hot so I like to add mines. Now I'm using some of the oil from the um, pakoras since that was clean oil and I'm adding it to my tarka. Now be generous with the oil because of course you know who doesn't love to see a nice tarka on top of their curry pakoras so it's up to you guys. You guys don't have to use as much as oil as I'm using here but um, I went ahead and added in the onions that I sliced thinly and then after the onions are in there just for about a minute I'll go ahead and add the ginger garlic and the green chili peppers I'll let that all fry up and then after that we will add in the tomatoes and a little bit of turmeric red chili powder and salt for the tarka and then that's it that's it guys our tarka is all done you guys can um, add zira, cumin, any types of masalas that you guys want to. I usually don't add a lot of masalas to my cooking, um, but you guys definitely can. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add the tarka into our curry like this. And please, guys, you have to forgive me because my camera turned off and I didn't even know it at the time I added in the tomatoes turmeric and chili powder to the tarka so I'll have those ingredients down below but just add them to your curry like this cook for just about one minute on flame and remove immediately you don't want to overcook it because the tarka's cooked the curry's cooked you just, you know, heat it through and you're all done like this. And also from the tarka, you guys could reserve a little and save some like I did. And then we can put that on top of the um, curry when we're serving it like this right here. Just like about, you know, a, a spoon that the one that you're cooking this with. I just added a little bit. And now the funnest part ever, this is my serving dish. I have water at the bottom and I'm going to light it up. And then I have my pakoras. And then at the time that I feel like serving or my guest or whatever, I went ahead and added the curry on top like this. And oh my God, it is so delicious. Um, you guys can garnish with lots of cilantro. You guys um, can garnish with, you know, like I said, the tarka that we reserved a little for the top. You guys can add green chilies on top. It, it, the decisions your guys is, but um, I really hope that you guys will enjoy this recipe. And um, if you guys do and it's making you guys hungry, give it a big thumbs up. 
And this is the idea for the reserve tarka on top. Because you guys know our eyes eat first, right? Before the tummy, the eyes eat. So you want it to look all nice like this. And then that's something my mom always says, you know. Um, so yeah, just like that, ready to serve. And dinner is served, guys. So I hope and pray you guys enjoy this recipe. If you guys do, my sweet friends, and if it's beneficial and you guys try this recipe, do keep me in your duas. And I hope this will be a source of satka jariya for me and my family. If you guys learn how to cook or learn from me or you guys have for many, many years. And because, you know, it does require a lot of work, especially if you have kids, a family in Ramadan, if you're working, anything else, you know, it's a huge commitment to take this time out to uh, record, clean, um, edit, and um, take time out to do this. So my sweet friends, thank you guys so much for all the love and support on all my platforms. And I hope and pray you guys have a blessed Ramadan. Take care until my next video right after this. Allah Hafiz.